keep a secret. The Dean is magical. I play with my friends. There are lots of trees, but there is a particular tree. It's the willow tree. It's where the fairies live. Some people believe in fairies. Some people don't. But in my heart, I do. This is Tiny Tales by Esme. A new member of our family arrived in August. A cute fairy hamster called Chip. We now have fish in the tank and Chip in the cage. But we don't eat them. Chip likes to escape because he is in lockdown and wants an adventure like me. Uh, While I'm Tiny Tail by Jeffrey. Why I love Wylam? There's lots of things to do. You can play in the park or go to the shop. Lucy, my school friend, always cheers me up. Amazing walks to do and great places to visit, like Stevenson's cottage along the track. Moving around is limited everywhere. A Wild and Tiny Tale by Martha. In March, Dave set a trap of water and flour and caught wild hagbank yeast. He gladly shared his bounty. This 32 kilos of precious woodoven flour and thyme provided mental and physical nourishment. Dave's sourdough met a sticky end. I replenished it. That's the circle of loaf. A Wylam Tiny Tale by Mary. One night at bedtime, it was cold on every turn. People were inside, the leaves were as cold as could be, and as sparkling as a diamond. But there was a generous person, Matthew Haddon, who cleans the streets for the people of Wylam. His heart is a kind heart. A Wylam Tiny Tale by Finn. 